red uh, LEDs to also uh, work at night. <laughs> so, what does it read from the driver? Whether the driver is tired or fatigued or... Yeah. So what we demonstrate here is where the driver is looking at. So is he concentrated on the road or is he distracted? And uh, yeah, for example, looking on the radio. Okay. Yeah. Maybe but, uh, yeah. No, 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 go ahead, go ahead. sorry. So, sorry. but uh, eye closure and tiredness, that's also one application, but we cannot show here because... Okay, um, yeah. so it is able to detect all this. And after it detects all this, what does it do with the information? So, on, on this demonstrator, we we give an acoustic warning. So, yeah. uh, please concentrate is the warning. Ah, okay, yeah. okay. So, but on a, in a real car, um, so it goes after two seconds, but yeah. in a real car, it would take much uh, longer. So then you can say, okay, maybe you first have some visual warning and after that, mm. um, yeah, some acoustic warnings or some vibrations. Or so this is also crucial for automated driving yes, as for well. The, for the handover. So if the car comes to an end of an autonomous test track, yeah. Um, yeah, then the driver needs to drive by himself and then the car needs to know uh, what's the state of the driver. So the car needs to allow the driver to... to to take over yeah. if the driver falls asleep right yeah say for example yeah, and the, the hmi of the car needs to advise the driver now okay now you have to focus on the road again right. and now ah. uh, put your hands back on the steering wheel okay therefore we need this um, adjustments and all the kind of things yeah okay oh, so you okay. need to know what the driver does yeah so this car actually demonstrates how the car how continental has developed systems for the car to detect whether the driver is in what state you see in in the world of automated driving right there are there are roads whereby say for example in the future right certain roads you must activate automated driving highway on high speeds you've watched irobot right so and then when it comes to uh, certain areas where you enter the city and all that then the, the car has to return the driving to the driver the car has to be able to tell whether the driver is ready or not the car couldn't just detect that the, their, their automated driving zone has finished and then just give up the driving. So even to this extent that Continental has developed this kind of system to make sure that uh, every single component is in place to, for this to happen. This is something pretty amazing actually. Yeah. Yeah. You want to come to the front? Yeah. Okay. So what what oh, we have here? I see you. It's actually uh, so a lot of sensors. I see one here, one there. The cameras over there, here and here, and here to detect whether but he, for, he's paying attention. But for the demonstration, we use only this camera. So oh. the other ones are switched off. Okay. Now. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So now we. Um, so you see on the on the screen in the back seat, um, yeah, that we track specific features of the face, so yep. like the mouth yep. and the nose yep. and you the eyes. Looking, so your eyes <laughs> yeah. are pointing and all. Yeah. Oh, so brilliant. and now if I'm I'm looking on the radio, Please for example, um, we can detect that and yeah. Please the driver, yeah. Whoa. Wow. So immediately it will tell you that you're not looking on the road. Yes, so right. that's what we demonstrate here, but in a, in a serious car, um, yeah, Please concentrate. we wouldn't do that so fast. Yeah. 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 Please concentrate. Yeah. So and the, the same for the mirror, so... Um, Please concentrate. Have we you all determined how many seconds the eyes off the road will be, the warning will come up? So it, it, here in this car, it's around two seconds. Yeah. Um, yeah, but in a real car, it, it would be dependent also on the on the speed you drive. So if you are uh, driving in a city, it's different as you are driving on a highway. Um, yes. Yeah. So on the real car, is speed dependent. Yeah. So on a, yeah. on a serious car. Yeah. Okay. So when you see the green bars beside my yeah. eyes here, what we're what we're looking so at, the, right? The area <coughs> of the cluster. On the, the steering camera, wheel, there yeah, there is an infrared camera by. that is. Yeah, reading his eyes yeah, yeah. whether he is so looking people, at the road or not the camera, so um, even even he's wearing glasses or shades right 
the, the camera is able to see through that and look at his eyes. If he closes his eyes or if he turn around, concentrate. Yeah, the car will immediately warn him that please concentrate and all that. Of course, this has been calibrated to do a demonstration to us. In, in the real world, if this is uh, in, in, in production um, form, um, the warning will come based on the speed, you know, the speed of the vehicle that is traveling or the location where it is driving. But basically, what Continental has shown us is that in, in automated driving, right, the car needs to be able to analyze the driver, whether he is ready or whether he's attentive in, in, in his driving. So if he closes his eyes or, or if he's not looking on the road, the car will know and thus warn him. These kind of stuff are just crazy, crazy tech that Continental is doing. Yeah, this is amazing.